You're watching News 8 on WROC. CPA Scott Adair from the New York State Society of CPAs is back with us. Scott, good morning. Good morning, Mark. We're talking about student loans. Uh, not a popular subject, but certainly an important one. We know that a lot of folks are getting ready to graduate, and a lot of them are going to be walking away with a big debt load to service as well, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Uh, $1.7 trillion in outstanding student loan debt. Uh, approximately 44 million loans out there. Uh, average outstanding loan amount, over $37,000. That's real money for people who are just finishing up four years at college. Uh, as, we get, as these students get to the finish line and get ready to move on with their lives, what do they need to do to start making payments on these loans if they, if they haven't started already? First and foremost, congratulations on the graduation, but now becomes the repayment time, and you really need to take a look at the loan agreements, making sure that you know what the grace periods are. Uh, you don't want to miss that first payment, uh, so mark it on your calendar. Make sure you're prompt with the first payment that you need to make. A lot of college grads, uh, Scott, uh, maybe aren't set with a job. Maybe they're still searching. If uh, they get to the point where they need to be making a payment and they're struggling to do so, what do they need to do then? Great, great question, Mark. Uh, really what they should focus on is reaching out to the lender or their m multiple lenders that they have. Uh, make sure that they're communicating with them. Never, never, never ignore the student loan. That is too, too important from a standpoint of getting yourself off on the right, right foot uh, from a financial planning perspective. So reach out to the loan makers, make sure they're aware of your situation, and they will likely be flexible with you. All right. Uh, any final thoughts on this uh, topic before we let you go here? Student loans. Yeah, really quick, I would just say make sure that uh, you're making at least the minimum payment, uh, if not more than that, as you're going through this. Uh, and don't skip any payments and make sure that you're in contact if folks are, are thinking that they may not be able to make them. Yep, and of course, make those payments on time as well. All important advice, Scott. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate it. If you missed any of our conversation on student loans, we'll be sharing it online at rochesterfirst.com.